propaganda model for the manufacture of public consent describes five editorially distorting filters, which are said to impact reporting of news in mass communications media. These five filters of editorial bias are, one, size, ownership, and profit orientation. The dominant mass media outlets are large profit-based operations, and therefore they must cater to the financial interests of the owners, such as corporations and controlling investors. The size of a media company is a consequence of the investment capital required for the mass communications technology required to reach a mass audience of viewers, listeners, and readers. Two, the advertising license to do business. Since the majority of the revenue of major media outlets derives from advertising, advertisers have acquired a de facto licensing authority. Media outlets are not commercially viable without the support of advertisers. News media must therefore cater to the political prejudices and economic desires of their advertisers. This has weakened the working class press, for example and also helps explain the attrition in the number of newspapers. Three, sourcing mass media news. Herman and Chomsky argue that the large bureaucracies of the powerful subsidize the mass media and gain special access by their contribution to reducing the media's costs of acquiring and producing news. The large entities that provide this subsidy become routine news sources and have privileged access to the gates. Non-routine sources must struggle for access and may be ignored by the arbitrary decision of the gatekeepers. Editorial distortion is aggravated by the news media's dependence upon private and governmental news sources. If a given newspaper, television station, magazine, etc. incurs disfavor from the sources, it is subtly excluded from access to information. Consequently, it loses readers or viewers and ultimately, advertisers. To minimize such financial danger, news media businesses editorially distort their reporting to favor government and corporate policies in order to stay in business. 4. Flack and the Enforcers Flack refers to negative responses to a media statement or program, for example, letters, complaints, lawsuits, or legislative actions. Flack can be expensive to the media, either due to loss of advertising revenue, or due to the costs of legal defense, or defense of the media outlet's public image. Flack can be organized by powerful private influence groups. The prospect of eliciting flack can be a deterrent to the reporting of certain kinds of facts or opinions. 5. Anti-Communism War on Terror Anti-Communism was included as a filter in the original 1988 edition of the book. But Chomsky argues that since the end of the Cold War, anti-communism was replaced by the War on Terror as the major social control mechanism. The propaganda model describes the major pillars of society, like the public domain, business firms, media organizations, governments, etc. As first and foremost, profit seekers. To fully consider the effects of the propaganda model, a tiered diagram can be drawn. Due to the impressionable and exploitative nature of major media organizations, including broadcast media, print media, and 21st century social media, media organizations are placed at the bottom. As the model scales upward, it pans to the larger organizations who are financially capable of controlling advertising licenses, lawsuits, or selling environments. The first level displays the public domain in which prominent ideologies within the masses can influence the intentions of mass media. The second level pertaining to the business firms accounts for the media's source of information. As business firms are wealthy enough to supply information to media organizations while maintaining control over where advertisers can sell their advertisements and stories. The final layer the governments of the major global powers are the wealthiest subgroup of the pillars of society. Having the most financial wealth and organizational power, media organizations are most dependent on government structures for financial stability and political direction.